the ancient seers have always encoded their secrets of the universe and all their depth of great mathematical knowledge. It was always hidden in a secret place and that place is called art. And as you can see here in my mural, she's called Doll Fusion. She's half woman, half dolphin. You can see the dolphin tail. She embodies all this galactic knowledge, the cream of everything I've ever researched on, whether it's prime numbers, magic squares, the true value of pi. It's all hidden in this spinning wheel of 24. Um, I'd like to just um, share a little bit of um, detail about what this represents to me as an artist. Um, in my exploration and pursuit of symmetry and harmony, order amidst the chaos, we're looking for meaning amongst the randomness of numbers. So first of all, um, what I'd like to show is that if you were flying, if you were flying over, say, Egypt and you were above the pyramid, you can see from these four, this square here, that this is actually the top of the pyramid. So if you can squint your eyes and see that this Dolphusion, this half woman, half dolphin woman, is actually um, merged into the pyramids of Egypt. And this was inspired by a painting by the Dogon in Central Africa. One of the first articles I ever read was in the heart of Africa. The Dogon tribe were worshipping a 50, every 50 years they had a ceremony for a, a Dogon god called Omo. And it was a dolphin god in the heart of a jungle. And that inspired me. And I've done lots of sketches of this. And I did this while I was fasting for two weeks over several years. So what I'd like to explain is this is called the mystical square of the circle. So if that's one meter squared, two, three, the perimeter of this square is four meters. If I grab that as a string and said, what's the corresponding circle that also equals four meters? It would be this circle going in here. So as you follow this green circle going around, this circle also has a corresponding circumference of 14. So that's called the mystical quadrature of the circle. It, make, it means that heaven and earth unite. And it creates what is called the square root of phi, the golden root. Because if I want to go from this square to the corresponding circle to make it equal, I have to extend the unit. If this is one meter going across there, I have to extend my diameter from here to out there to become 1.27. And 1.27 is called the golden root, which means 1.27 squared gives us 1.618. So this is the called the phi ratio, and it's based on the Fibonacci numbers, successive numbers, 21 plus 34 equals 55. And as this goes to infinity, where we keep adding the previous digit, 34 plus 55 makes 89. It gives us a formula called 1 plus root 5 on 2. And this decimal 1.618033988 goes forever without any known repetition. And you can see here, I've um, written it out 108 times. So it's 1.618033988. It goes along and then it turns around. It's 108 decimals because the sum, the mystical sum 108 is encoded in this infinite rational, irrational number. So we're going along and it's a journey because 108 is the key to, to the multi-dimensional realities. And that is why the number 108 is written on her heart over here. We've got these um, fractal hearts going into infinity. So the number 108 is embedded in Dolphusion's heart. What else do we have here? We have in the center here at her belly button point, this is the point of birth, of creation. We can see that there's a square and the numbers that generate this, it's based on the art of number, is 618753294. That's the center of the Tibetan calendar. This is a point of incarnation. And this is the point where she's going to become pregnant and give birth to like um, Homo Novus, the new human a raising of consciousness where we become more respectful of the environment called Gaiosophy. And so this is the Tibetan magic square from China and Tibet. And so that's the center of the mandala. Mandala means the world. So this is a multidimensional experiment showing that all cultures in this world must obey the language of mathematics. So what I've done is I've taken... 
I've divided the circle into 24 and I've written it in three different languages. This is going to be English, this is Arabic, and this is uh, Sanskrit. So if we follow the Fibonacci numbers, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, when we get to 13, we take away 9. It's called digital compression. We end up with a wheel of 24 that adds up to 20, uh, 108, 108 plus 9. So this is called um, the phi code. Or it's based on the wheel of 24. Then I've written it again in, in my language, which is Lebanese or Arabic. I've gone 1, 3, 4, 7. So one, three, four, seven, it's all just single digits. And then there's another phi code that also adds up to 108. The first one goes one and one, create two. One and three, create four. But the last one, one and four, create five. So this is written in Sanskrit, one, four, five, and it goes around. So the symbolism here is that um, we have discovered a language based on nature, on the living mathematics of flowers, that is um, um, shared and understood by all people in the world. We've also got the prime number cross here. So if you look at these wings, this, this, these appear to be wings that she's flying through the air and there's fire, earth, air, and there's water down there. But these points here represent the prime number cross on the wheel of 24. So you can see two more points here that go to the center and hidden behind her subliminally is two more points there. So you can see that it's kind of subliminal, it's in the background. So they're the most important points. These are the most important points. I just want to, um, in the four corners of this, um, I've shown, I'm showing here the, the doubling sequence that there's a connection between one, two, four, eight, 16, 32, when it's compressed to single digit, makes the VW symbol. But if you notice, there's a golden spiral connecting the center of the spiral connects to the intersection of the Dublin sequence. So that's the binary code. And over here, we have um, what I call the true value of pi, because we know that 1.618 is the key to all the harmonics of the circle. So I'm stating very clearly that the true value of pi is four divided by the square root of phi, 1.272, giving 3.144. This is what we call a celestial transcript, and this will change the harmonics of the planet. And the final re reference of what I consider to be important knowledge is when we look at our multiplication table here, um, we reduce all the digits of the what they call the Vedic square or your times table, and we explore all the points of one. So you can see that the six points are one. And what it makes is an octahedral crystal. So this is the celestial mathematics that's been taught to children now in our new curriculum called the 108 Academy. We're taking the essence, our school or academy is taking the essence of all the living maths of nature and we're turning number into pictures. So even though you see the outline for a double pyramid or octahedron, we're actually witnessing um, a crystalline matrix of knowledge and this is what's going to awaken children ultimately to learn and see mathematics in a new in a new way so um so i'm very proud to share my painting i've spent many many years touching this up and i'm looking looking forward to um explaining this in greater detail